So the new M4 Mac Mini seems to be wowing everybody, and the biggest reason is because of the price to performance ratio, but another thing about it is what's really enticing everybody is the new form factor in the design language. This thing is so small, so compact, so tiny that it begs the question, can it be your travel computer? And I actually think it can be. So let's talk about that and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I get that done. Let's get into it. So now before we get started, I do want to address the elephant in the room because I'm sure people in the comments are going to say, just get yourself an M2 or M3 MacBook Air if you want to travel with a computer. And of course, to those people I say, yes, getting a laptop is probably the better way to go about this when it comes to a laptop for travel. But I just want to show you what is possible with this new form factor of the Mac Mini because again, for the price, the performance you get out of it, and again, the form factor, it really changes the way that you really view the Mac Mini as a desktop. Of course, it's going to be a desktop first, but in a situation where you need to travel with it, you definitely can, and let's get started on how exactly I'm gonna be doing this. So first and foremost, you're gonna to need to get some sort of backpack or, or bag or something to carry all this stuff in, because even though it's not a lot of components, you still need a little bit of space in order to bring this on the go. So the backpack I'm gonna be recommending is going to be the Tech Folio Bag, the slim version by Waterfield. Now Waterfield makes some amazing products made out of full grain leather and made here in the USA, so you do pay a little bit of a premium, but you definitely get your money's worth when it comes to just opening up such a beautifully made product and you get the beautiful smell of it, and other properties that you get with something made out of full grain leather, like being able to patina over time, taking care of it, the fact that it smells so good. So just having something that's very high quality, well made in a premium product at house, again, your Mac mini and an external monitor and everything I'm gonna mention is something that I do think people should take seriously. And this tech folio backpack has everything you're ever gonna need when it comes to traveling with a Mac mini or traveling with any tech item, right? So this tech folio backpack opens up to show two different sides to it, right? The front side is going to be kind of your organizer for all of your different tech and your smaller miscellaneous things. I'm talking about foldable keyboards, which we'll touch on later, your mouse, your cables, your chargers, your cords, whatever is a little bit smaller that needs to be organized and has to have a little section for it is gonna go on this side. And then on the other side is where you would put your laptop traditionally, but in this situation, we're putting our espresso display in here with the cable as well as the Mac mini. So that is why it's called the folio backpack because it folds itself up and then it becomes a little bit more compact to then allow you to carry it as a normal backpack. They do have a larger one also if you need some extra space in there, if you wanna fit more stuff, whether it is more tech items or even maybe some clothing for a weekend trip or something like that. But for the most part, I like the slimmer one because I just like to keep it as small and as compact as possible. But like I said, they do have a larger one if needed. So overall, I'm a big fan of this backpack and I'm gonna leave everything linked down below in order that I mention it if you guys do wanna check it out. And now of course, let's talk about the M4 Mac Mini that I have. I have the baseline model one, so it is 16 gigs of unified RAM, 256 gigs of storage. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, in the box itself, all you get is the computer as well as the power cable. Now I do wish the power cable was USB-C and not the proprietary cable, would have made this a little bit easier, but nonetheless, you do have to carry around the power cable that plugs into an AC adapter or a larger battery if needed. But that is the Mac Mini that I have, and right now on Amazon, I believe it's $50 off if you guys wanna check it out. And then depending on when you're watching this, if it is Black Friday, it'll go down to, I believe, up to $100 off for $499 for the baseline model, which has been more than enough for my use cases for the Mac Mini. So having this as a travel companion or a travel computer is something that I never thought I would be able to do, but I'm very happy that I can do. And you're gonna need three main things in order to use this as a computer, right? You're gonna need a display, a keyboard, and a mouse. And I've focused more so on the travel-centric piece of this when it comes to the products that I've chosen. And the display that I ended up going with is the new 15-inch espresso display with their new stand. And this is perfect for those on-the-go situations. This is perfect for you to set up in a WeWork, and it works as a single cable solution. So once you have your M4 Mac Mini plugged in, you just plug this display in via the USB-C cable that comes included, and then you're using this as your main display. And this 15-inch panel is a 1080p display, but the fact that it's only $299 is what makes this such a steal because I think the stand alone they could have charged $100 for because of how well it works, the uniqueness, the magnetic nature of it. But then on top of that, the display is super well made. It's essentially a 15 inch like iMac display just shrunken, right? It has the same kind of chin, but then equal bezels around the other three sides, which is awesome to see. It's ultra, ultra slim, so it's perfect for this kind of setup because you can just travel with it and put it in most bags that fit a 16 inch laptop. So this by Espresso Display is my favorite go-to portable monitor that I'm gonna recommend over and over again because of the price point, what you get out of it, and just how easy it is to move around with it. And then for a keyboard, I wanted to keep it all very portable and very compact. So I have a foldable keyboard by a company called ProtoArc that I've mentioned before. This is a perfect companion for this setup because again, it is wireless, it charges via USB-C, it can connect up to three different devices. So if you do travel with your Mac mini, your iPad, and even your iPhone, you can connect to all three of these devices at the same time and be able to type with just one keyboard. And the fact that it folds into itself to really be compact that can slide into any of these pockets is 
something that's awesome for this travel setup. And then what I also like about this is that after you go through the initial connection process, the moment you open this thing up means it's gonna turn on and automatically pair to the last device that it was paired to, which is going to be that Mac Mini. So having this as a keyboard on the go with the chiclet style keys is a no brainer for me. And then for the mouse, I'm gonna stick to my tried and true Logitech Anywhere S2. You guys have heard me mention this mouse in the past over and over again, because in my opinion, it is the highest quality mouse you can buy for the price of around 60 to $80, depending on when you see this. So if you guys do want a high quality mouse that isn't gonna break the bank and feels better than those cheap, maybe 15, 20, $30 mice you get from Amazon, the Logitech Anywhere S3, because that's a new one, is gonna be the way to go that charges via USB-C, connects to three different devices, and it's just a pleasure to use day in and day out. So technically I could stop there because that's all you really need to get yourself set up on the go with this Mac mini. You need the Mac mini, the display, some sort of keyboard input, and then also some sort of mouse or trackpad input. But I wanted to add a few more accessories here that kind of help elevate it a little bit, especially if you're going maybe to a WeWork for eight to 10 hours and you're gonna be there for a long time. So. First and foremost, I'm gonna include an SSD in here because I like to work off of SSDs, whether it is on my iPad or the Mac mini, and I've been using the Lexar SSD, the SL500, for about six months now at this point, and it is my main SSD that I work off of every single day on my iPad. I have the four terabyte version, but they also have a one and two terabyte version. It has 2000 MBS read and write speed, so it is faster than something like a T7, and just as fast as the brand new T9 Shield by Samsung which are pretty much interchangeable in terms of an SSD solution, depending on which one you wanna go with. But I like the Lexar one because it is a lot slimmer than the T9 and it's been holding up tried and true. So overall, that's the one that I'm gonna recommend for right now. And that one pretty much just lives plugged into either my Mac mini or my iPad. And since this is a travel setup and we're gonna be in these public places, for the most part, you can't really be playing music or audio out loud. So you're gonna to have to have some sort of headphone. I'm always gonna recommend the AirPods Pro when it comes to using other Apple products because it just works so well. It connects to all your devices. And right now, I believe it's $170 for the AirPods Pro Gen 2, which is only a dollar more expensive than the AirPods 4. So in my opinion, it's a no brainer to get the AirPods Pro if you're in the Apple ecosystem. But then if you want a pair of over-ear headphones, I'm gonna recommend the Sonos Ace every single time because I like them better than the AirPods Max. They work just as well from a connectivity standpoint. The sound quality is amazing and the awareness mode on these equal or rival the same transparency mode that you get with the AirPods Max. And these are $100 cheaper retail and they might be even cheaper come Black Friday. So the Sonos Ace get my recommendation for the over your headphones that I would choose with this setup. And I'm gonna give you a second to figure out exactly what else is missing from this setup. So I'll give you about one, two, three. And if you haven't guessed it yet, it's going to be a webcam because of course, with a Mac mini, there is no built-in FaceTime camera or webcam for you to be able to use, but my solution is actually very simple. Just use what you have around you. So what I have is my Moft tripod stand, which I bring with me pretty much everywhere I go. And then I plop up my iPhone 16 Pro Max and I use continuity cam when I do need to go into Zoom meetings or Google Meets meetings or go into a podcast through Riverside. So using that as my kind of standalone tripod, an on-the-go tripod that is compact and folds down, combined with the continuity camera is a super easy, seamless, and super high quality solution because you do get that awesome 4K quality that you get with the rear cameras of your iPhone. And now continuity camera does work via Wi-Fi, but I do like to hardwire it in because it gives me a little bit more confidence that there isn't gonna be any latency or any kind of breakage when it comes to the connection. So I do use my Raycon Magic Flex cable, which is very easy to use. And I plug that directly into the Mac mini. And it does double as, of course, a wired in charger when I need to charge my iPhone or my AirPods. And then I also like to carry in this setup some sort of power brick just in case I needed to charge my auxiliary devices. So I do like to bring Nomad 65 watt power brick because it has two USB-C ports and an Apple Watch charger. So I can charge my Apple Watch if I do need to in this setup. And then the last thing I like to have with me here is to put an AirTag inside of this because I'm housing a lot of expensive products in here and I wanna make sure I don't lose this thing. So having an AirTag built in here and putting it into one of the compartments is something that I always have with me with this setup and with this backpack. So that is everything you need. Honestly, the only real things you need are gonna be the Mac mini, the display, the mouse, and then obviously the keyboard. And these other things are just there to optimize the experience that much more if needed. So let me know what you think. Is the Mac mini a travel desktop solution? Like would you use this as a travel computer when you need to? Or are you better off just buying yourself a MacBook Air if that's how you're gonna use it? In my opinion, this is an awesome setup because it just shows you the versatility of what a small and compact form factor does. And then you did notice how fast this thing boots up because technically every time you move from location to location, you have to unplug it and completely power down the Mac mini. So it's very easy to start up, very easy to use, and it pretty much just loads up everything else that you had loaded up if you did have a prior session with your Mac mini which is something that you can only do when it comes to Apple Silicon because it's built off of that eight chip series that's in the iPhones and everything in there is instantaneous. So being able to have pretty much an instantaneous desktop solution on the go is something that we haven't seen before. But that'll do it everybody. Let me know in the comment down below. Like I mentioned, is this something you would do? Is this something that you are doing? 
Could this replace your laptop in those off chances or off situations where you need to bring this on the go rather than have your laptop sit as a desktop solution? Because that's how I use my MacBook Air. It never left my desk. So I figured, let me get a Mac Mini if that's what it's going to be. But that'll do it, everybody. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, definitely check out Winnie's right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace. Also, if you want to find out how to get an AirTag for just two bucks, click that link down below. There's an article talking about how to do that, which is very easy. Peace.